Hello everyone, we're here, whoa, what happened there, how's it going, this is the old camera, the old webcam, how are you, feel like I'm waving at an old friend, give me one moment, back in a second, see, that's the, um, the turning off of the, looking good apparently, hey, hey, thank you very much, um, found the picture, Coots, looking good. Oh, thank you very much, yes. Oh, great, which picture? Oh, that picture. Oh, yeah, Coots is a, a good-looking man. How is everybody? Uh, good to see you. Did you have a nice weekend? How's my dad's academic dust 894? Yes, I saw him this weekend, too. Um, he is doing all right. He's still in hospital, but doing much better, to be completely honest with you. So, he's still in hospital today, but they will be chucking him out at some point this week. Maybe the next day or tomorrow, he's just, he's taken up too much of their time. And they said, okay, Neil, it's time you need to leave now, Walter. Get out. Um, it's funny because I've called my dad Walter. Sorry, I've called my dad Neil. Um, that's his, that's what he goes by usually. But on the wall it says in big letters, Walter. No, it's just like that. All right. Where's the rock of our crossing? Where is it? Where are we? Who am I? What am I? What are we? I'm ch this, is, this is what happens. This is what happens, everybody. So, Ed, Ed looks scared. Yeah, I am. So what happens is, everyone, when you go and you leave work for the weekend, and you expect to come home, and you expect to have everything just work in the way that you want it to on Monday, you want to sit down, you want things to just work as they usually do. But then sometimes what, you, what happens is Windows 10 happens. Now I don't mean to disparage Windows 10 in, in, in any way, or the hard work that goes into people who, who make these sorts of updates and things, but let me tell you, it's confused me to no end. It stopped my camera from working almost entirely, so I've had to use temporary little camera and I'm in this little tiny box now look my arms oh I can still go this way maybe if I go this way a little bit I've got more space all the way back here silly little camera anyway uh up the volume please mm. so now I'm concerned um that you mm. one sec One second. Are you hearing that? Is it definitely picking up the right, the right mic? I'll turn me up a little bit, just a little bit, just for you, just for you specifically. So, everybody, how are you all? What have you all been doing? How was your weekends? Did you go and spend some time with your fathers? Or are you a father yourself? and you had some people spending time with you. You can hear that scratching. That's good news. It means at least the microphones are still working. Yes, Windows 10 strikes, but it cannot take us down entirely. But it is beeping at me in all sorts of different ways. You can hear me, Clem. Clem Fandango. Very good. Can you hear me, Clem? Clem, Clem Fandango. Yeah, I've seen that too. I've, I've been there and watched that program as well. So how is everybody? Whoa, gosh. We have a week in store for you, of course. Five days of this noise where I'll be streaming every single day, doing an hour of this or 45 minutes, or this time about half an hour, because let's be honest, Windows 10 got in the way 
and Windows 10 will forever be my nemesis until tomorrow when I work out that it actually has got a lot of good features and it's very user friendly. Uh, then I'll be friendly again. Oh, see, I'm looking at the wrong camera now. I'm looking up there at the camera when I should be looking down here at you. God, it looks like I'm looking up like a mad person. Hello over there, everyone. Hello. And welcome to the Elite Dangerous Livestream. My name's Edward Lewis and I've got a special guest. It's my imagination. My imagination is the special guest today. My imagination is a very special guest every single day. We shouldn't do this with things. I didn't even know you can do this with your eyes. Can anyone else do that? It's grim, isn't it? I look bl I'm not happy. I'm not happy. You watch the darts? Got breakfast in bed, so I had only cards and played E for a while on Sunday. Happy times. Very, very nice coots. Loving times. Put a post it on the other camera with an arrow. It's just this this one. Not this one. This one. See, like, it literally is a different. Like, I'm looking miles away from you all. Ooh, Captain Fluffy says he's half asleep. Worth five hours with us because of small children. How small are the children? Um, and why are they in your house? these small children. Um, you might want to write an official complaint to the council. If you are being bothered by small children at night, uh, you shouldn't go you should should go on you shouldn't be suffering any longer. You should remove them from your position. Unless of course they are your children and you have created them, then it's your own fault. You should have known what you were getting into. I spent a lot of time with a small child this weekend too. She was my niece and small child is she. But good fun and a little cheeky, but uh, can she be blamed? She is my sister's daughter. So, like I said, this week is going to be uh, a lot of this, a lot more light, a lot more jumping. We'll get there eventually. I think we should start talking about LaveCon plans. What does everybody think? LaveCon plans. LaveCon plans. Um, who, hands up, 21 people currently in the chat, who is making their way to LaveCon this year? Please do make yourselves known. Because you're going to be the main, you're going to have the main say in what we do in terms of for this live stream, the LaveCon plan. Do we have an Andy FM here in the chat? Just in case the bar needs to restock and restock it. Question is, guys, can we make it 22 jumps in the next half an hour? I think we probably can, which means we've made it to the Rock of Crossing, which means Shan will be very, very pleased. Because he'll be like, my job here is done! And then he can leave feeling as if he's done a good job in helping us, helping me out, making it to safety. Johnny Longwood says, if I pay for my plane ticket, I'm afraid I cannot. Andy FM, I'm really sad to hear that you can't make it. x G47 can't make it. Paul Archer's there. Yay! Max S is there. Yay! Uh, Commander Coots says, I plan to weep all through LaveCon because you can't make it. Oh, Commander Coots, how, who's going to produce the show when you're not there? So I'm thinking about doing a live show from there, one of these. Maybe in the late evening or the evening. It's not too late, could be early. And I'm thinking about what I will do is I'll supply the biscuits. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is a big group uh, biscuit review. Uh, and so I'll do some jumping still because, as we know, I'll still have a long way to go. As you can clearly see, we've still got really far to go in this whole thing. And then what I think you will do is I'll just get people to hold. I'll give scorecards out to everybody. People can hold up their scorecards in the audience and we'll take an average. I'll get an assistant to go around adding up the average. It would have been cute, but he's not here, so I'll have to find some rest. Who knows what we'll also do in terms of the shots every time we have an FSD drive failure. Because that might be irresponsible to live stream that. But I am willing to take this kind of, you know, people. Yeah, if, if you want that to happen, then maybe we'll do it. Because it will be quite funny. Next year, hopefully, there's grief. It's a shame you can't make it griefed. But we are hoping to be at Great Gamescom as well, so I'm sure we'll do something fun for that. Uh, we're currently working on our own plans for that one, too. The FSD drive is handling itself well today. Suspiciously so. 
So today I also thought that as well, we've got Biscuit Reviews every single day as well. We've got Guest Wednesday and my dad is determined to be back for the Bisc Quiz this Friday. So keep yourselves plugged in for the Bisc Quiz all the way on Friday. Okay, it's five days away, but it's celebratory time because of course the return will all have to make him feel very welcome. So do be there for Friday's Bisc Quiz. I've told him to rest and uh, if he needs another week off, then he should have another week off, but we'll see. Hey, Miss Psyche, how are you? Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. How are, how are you doing? I'm feeling a tiny bit groggy, and Windows 10 has been the bane of my existence today. But I'm here, and we shan't complain anymore, because complaining is... No one wants to see if you... Okay, first of all, if you've turned up to the live stream and you're thinking, oh, I'm really looking forward to seeing Ed, because he doesn't complain, then you're at the wrong place, and you've got the wrong idea about this. I am a complaining complainer. How is WNL doing, Ed? XLG47, good question. He's doing all right. He's got uh, atrial fibrillation, which means an irregular heartbeat, which means that the bottom bit is doing like proper pumping, yeah? It's pumping, all right. It like does a pump and it goes to the brain. But then the top bit, it's all broken, it. It goes like this. Whoa. It tries to get the blood into the bottom part of the heart. Ah, this accent is awful. Uh, no, no, no. 25, says Grief. Thank you, Grief. Biscuit review begins in 25 minutes. Where would we be without you, sir? We're looking a little bit like we're running low on petroleum. Space petroleum. So I need to check that my next couple of jumps take me to a scoopable star. Apparently they do. Apparently it all is. Let's check that I've got the correct things. Yes. All right. I shall trust the knowledge of those who have supplied me with this knowledge. Knowledge. It's good knowledge, everybody. Retirees get ahead when I complain, hopefully everything will be okay. Yeah, me too. Was that a Danish accent? I don't think it was, Coots. Um, but now that you've said the word Danish, I really would like a Danish pastry. I think it was London. I think it was London. I don't know. Uh, hopefully the surgeons haven't been playing Surgeon Simulator, Dante. Yes, I completely agree. There's no work being done on this actual heart. He's just going to be given some pills to take. God, it's so dark when that comes out and I can't see a thing. So hopefully this next one apparently is going to be a scoopable start. If not, then we're going to be calling the fuel rats. Let me just double check one last time before I do this jump. If it was committing to this and then it not being there, I would feel a fool, sir. I would feel a fool, Crazy. sirs and dumdums. Danish bacon is much better. Hmm. I haven't had bacon for a long time. I'll tell you what I did have this week. Pork ribs. I was like, I go, I go to my sister's. To go, because I've got, I go to my sister's because, you know, that's on the way for me to go up northwest. And then I get there, and I'm like, okay, they've just spent £160 on shopping, like all this new health food stuff. My niece gets this little bowl of beautiful, like, salmon and mushrooms and olives, all in this, like, and she's not even two yet, right? Not even two. And I'm sitting there, I think, oh, that looks good. I wonder what we're going to have for dinner, what lovely really healthy meal we're going to have for dinner. McCain's chips and, <laughs> and uh, my, like, microwave chips and uh, a rack of ribs, barbecue ribs. To be fair, it was absolutely incredible. And uh, I'm not really one for like grabbing hold of the ribs with my hands and getting all sticky stuff. Let's do a survey right now. Sticky fingers with hands on ribs or no, big no-no for the sticky hands and the rib things. Cause I'm not into the sticky fingers. However, knife and fork, surprisingly good. Apparently it was from Aldi and they were very good indeed. First child, yes, 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 Max is the first child. I clearly had the best dinner. Yeah, potentially. Microchips aren't real chips, though, says Coots, and he's right. They're not. Big no-no. Sticky fingers with hands on ribs. Mess is all part of the fun, says Slash Care Bear. Mm. It's good to see that we all have a different, uh, different opinions. You know? We're allowed to feel different things. Finger looking good. Like a worm, yeah. Morning. Temperature a worm emerging from the ground. Excuse me? Do I smell rain? They like the rain, don't they, worms? So they crawl all the way up to the top. Whoa, gazers here, everyone. Uh, looking at your fingers once you've eaten the ribs is the best part. It's the worst part. Commander Fosdyke says, salute. 
Um, I'm assuming they're saluting Gazer. Thank you very much for being here, Gazer. And thank you very much, everyone, for being here as well. It is Monday. It is the worst day, isn't it? it is, what does everybody think of Mondays? My, my opinion on Mondays is that uh, it should be banned. And Tuesdays should be the new Mondays, but then eventually Tuesdays should be banned too. If we could just have like a six day weekend and then we come in for one day at work, that would be alright. But then all the people who work at the weekends to make fun stuff for the weekends, they wouldn't be able to do those things. And then we wouldn't have anything fun to do at the weekends. And it is Game of Thrones Day, XLG47. Yes, Game of Thrones Day, and for me, Silicon Valley Day. And I love Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is amazing. It's a show that you should all check out. If you haven't already seen Silicon Valley, watch it right now. If you're able to watch Sky, to watch... I think it's you'll be able to find it on the internet in some sort of deep, dark, dark net place. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You lot are all proper internet people. You should all know this. Unemployed Mondays are okay, slash Care Bear. Yeah. Okay, Draco, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry if I missed your... Um, uh, yeah, mind looking at the PM certificates, but sorry. So yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Silicon Valley, tell us a bit about it, Ed. Dante2050, Dante, I can call you. Sorry, are we okay? We, am I okay to call you Dante? I know that I'm one for enjoying full names of people on, on here, but I'm feeling a bit more... I feel, I feel a bit tired, so I feel a bit more like a Dante kind of day. But I just call you Dante instead of your full name. Windows 10 is constantly beeping at me. Silicon Valley is a show, a comedy, with a tiny bit of drama in there, but it's good fun drama. It's half an hour long, 20 minutes to half an hour, um, weekly thing, and it's on season three, and it is about a tech startup, a small tech startup called Pied Piper, and they're making a compression, they're a compression company, and like their compression rate is better than any other Are we here? Am I here? This is an emergency transmission. Somebody has installed Windows 10 on my machine. I don't know why they did it. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they managed to sneak past our defenses, but they have. And now we must deal with the Windows 10. Hello, I'm back. Uh, let's just keep doing some jumping. I'm sorry about that. And um, basically, I, I, what happened, right, as well, so I was just jumping, oh, no, we're still here, right? Are we still here? Re oh, Revenge, oh, Windows 10. <laughs> I'm so, so ner nervous now. Uh, what happened was I jumped to um, the next system as well, and I was just about to head towards getting some fuel, uh, to scoop some fuel up. And <laughs> as I did that, it just went black, the screen just went black, but things were still blinking, and things were still on. So I was like, for so a, couple, so a couple of seconds, I just went, ah, okay, that's that's annoying like I'll just check hmm, that's weird check my phone to see if you guys were still chatting see what you could see and then I thought oh hold on a minute maybe it could be that the screens had just gone blank but actually I was still charging straight towards the stars um, so that panicked me for a few seconds um, but we're all good we're all good we're all here uh, I must have been it must have been them Fargans uh, the biscuit review begins in 10 minutes. Oh my god, the Windows 10 review begins in 10 minutes. Well, I'll give it a durability, zero. Dunkability, let's find out. Just take the monitor and just dunk it into the... You can't, you can never dunk a... Um, unfortunately, it is impossible to dunk a uh, system, uh, like an operating system, because otherwise I would dunk it and I would hold it under the water for 30 seconds to give it a taste of its own medicine. Oh, let's check the system out. We've got 13 minutes to 13 jumps to do, and I'm going to do it. I want to make it to the Rock and Vogue Crossing at least today. So let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. We can make it today, we can make it, we can make it. I'm going to need a bigger cup of tea for that. Can you believe, everyone? This, this, the smoothest of live streams that we always, that always run without problems. One, broken new camera. Isn't broken, the camera's fine. Not working with Windows 10. Two crashes. Three, Shan's mug's gone missing. Again, people. Again. The mug has gone. Morishness zero. That's right griefed. Anyway, how are you all? Are you all right? Are you all right? Mrs. Noodles, good to see you here. Thank you for joining us. 
How's everyone? How, what, is everyone feeling okay? It, I feel like my lunchtime has been a little more stressful than I would have wanted to, but I'm hoping that that hasn't impacted your enjoyment. No? I've been mugged again for my mug. Completely mugged. I've been mugged off. I've been mugged. I've been... That's it, that's all I've got. Got no more fun. Henry's still here, though. And as we know, that's the most important thing. So I do apologise for the bit of a Monday madness, is what I like to call it. So it's a bit of a slow start for Monday, for the live stream, for the series. But I will promise to pick things back up and we'll be back on track uh, in terms of quality and um, length of live stream. At least, at least to be as long as it usually should. I, in fact, I cannot promise that. I can, I can never promise or ensure any quality at all. But, but it'll be definitely longer. It'll definitely be longer. Stuck on the phone for Talk Talk for lunch, so he seems stressed too. Oh, Talk Talk? What are you talking to those guys for? Some sort of internet problems. You don't want those. You don't want those. It's a sad thing when people call me and want Windows 8.1 back. Oh, that's very sad. I think that Windows 10 people just don't like change. And I'm sure it'll be absolutely fantastic, but the right currently, it's bugging me with all sorts of pop-up notifications crashes and all sorts uh, like I can't seem to click the icon it's telling me I'm not signed in and then it's like and I click on it to say like I know I'm sorry this is not my computer like I'm not at this com this you know I'm signed in down that's to do with that's not even to do with Windows though is it really that's fast well let's do it let's get out skedaddle let's skedaddle out of here nobody likes this area town um, Get the nerf gun, one single bullet, hand it to me, I'll sort myself out. <laughs> Coots is um, showing off the, which you you sent this to me earlier on Twitter, hadn't you, or the other day at least anyway. Um, oh, um, and it is absolutely amazing, you should check out the link that Coots has just put in chat. To the magnetic biscuit dunker. Having the, the camera so close, I feel like I'm so close to you. I feel like I'm looking, staring straight at you. It feels uncomfortable to me. Right, come on, only a few more jumps to go. Ten more jumps, can we do it? The Windows 10 review begins in ten minutes. Well, actually, that was a few minutes ago, so we've got about six more minutes. Good to see you, Karash. He's here for the biscuits. And I'm hoping that things will stay working and not crash on me again. We've just had an upgrade to Windows 10, and that's the most exciting thing that I can say that happened over the weekend. You know, the rest of it was just a lot of driving. I drove for eight hours on Saturday and Sunday, so I'm feeling a little bit tired. Uh, we like being close to you. Oh, Karash. Greetings, Karash, with his lovely Australian accent. Uh, West Country. West Country? Is that where you're from? Or have I just offended millions of people? Um, although, all the 25 people who are watching this. Great, so, uh, of course you're here, and uh, you've made it in time for the Biscuit Review. We have another six minutes until the Biscuit Review, so don't get too excited just yet. We've got some more jumping to do. I'm determined to do these nine jumps within the time, so I'm trying to... Biscuit Review in five minutes says grief. Thank you very much, Temporary Time Lord. Temporal Time... Temporal Temporary Time Lord. Temporary Temporal Time Lord. Just get all getting far too complicated. Um, but hopefully things will be brought back to normal tomorrow, uh, and I will be back on track with what I'm doing. I'm feeling a little flustered. A little flustered, but these things are character building. And of course, we all know that I need a lot of that because, well, uh, I am vapid of all emotions. Dante2050 apparently Frontier's looking for an IT support engineer. You might have to send my CV. Do it. If it means that you can come and help me sort out my cameras, and you can sit and watch it live. You can sit here next to David. Uh, one second, I'll just come out and break for me, please. He is here today watching over me, wearing his green screen suit, making sure that I don't get up to no good. Um, he's been fiddling around with the computer all morning. He's the person who changed it to Windows 10, actually. It's fair enough, it's his company. Jumping! Frame shift drive cooling. Come on, cool, cool, cool. Eight more jumps to go, come on! Hey, Time of Chaos, thank you very much for joining me. How are you? Uh... You've got enough character. <laughs> yep, 
<laughs> Mr. Raven, sir, thank you very much. You return with food, Miss Psyche. You missed all of the action. We had a crash. We had a economic crash. We had a car crash, a spaceship crash, and a PC crash. Now you can decide which one you think is the real crash. Not a crash, a crash. A bad crash. We forgot a crash as well. He's here. I don't know why I didn't make that joke anyway. Time of Chaos, it is good to see you as well. How are you? Representing the entire group, Time of Chaos, it is Time of Chaos himself. Mr. T.O.C. The biscuit review will begin in three minutes, says Grief. I've got seven minutes to seven jumps to do. Do I risk fully petroleuming up and get jumping? Yeah, dude. Sod it. It's been far too. We're, take, we're not taking enough risks here on this live stream. This is what we're all about. It's about taking risks. And a crash crash. Yes, don't forget the mugging. Yes, we've also been mugged. It's all going horribly, horribly wrong. Breathe. Oh, uh, Maki, you Elite 311. You're playing Elite like five minutes ago and just got disconnected from the server. Nothing here is. I've, I've not been disconnected from the server, although it could have caused the crash five minutes ago. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. You just found nine black holes on the people like your radius. Nicely done. Uh, he's trying. He's going to try and beat me to get that exploration thing, but damn him. Damn him. He's going to do it. He's going to do it as well, isn't he? All right, jumping. Go! FST malfunction! The first one of the day. Just when we're trying to be speedy and do six more jumps. Uh, if Andy FM, if you could pour me just a, just a shot of just energy drink or anything at all, I don't really mind. Pure methamphetamine in a drink, if you've got that. I do not in any way endorse the taking of drugs or alcoholic flavoured drinks. Or drugs. Alcohol. Yeah, thank you, the FM. Please don't, please don't put any drugs in anyone's drink. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm I've, I've lost it here today, haven't I? Let's be honest. Oh, I do like that creepy face emote. Thank you very much for using that in our, uh, in the live stream. Other energy drinks are equally disgusting and available. Yes, 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 and all that. Yep. All right. Uh, okay. Somewhat nervously, I carry on jumping. <laughs> yeah, Andy, if I can get out of here quick. Uh, is that the record for crossing that I'm going to? Or am I currently going the wrong way? I think I'm currently going the wrong way. Monday! Let's start again. Tomorrow, should, could, can we all agree that today doesn't count as a day and tomorrow can in fact be the first day of the week? And that way... Yeah. I know we were going the right way. It's all right. Calm down, Lewis. Can't stay calm. You're so stupid to I received a notification. It's about a meeting that I've got in five minutes. God, Mondays. What are they like, eh? Right, let's get to the next jump at all. Ladies and gents, it's time for the biscuit review. Make a little comfortable with tea or coffee and get comfortable. Enjoy the review. Slash, hashtag head desk. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Even though we've got four more jumps to do, I'm going to leave it there. It's been a shambles of a day. I'm blaming Commander Coots. Um, and Monday, of course. Mr. Monday, you are not welcome here ever again. Thank you very much for everyone else. You're always, always, always welcome. But right now, of course, uh, you guys know what to do here. Whoa, it's the biscuit review time. So what I'm going to go and do is head off back over to the kitchen. And again, I've done this before. I don't need to uh, go to your happy place and do this. This was his happy place. Exactly, it used to be. And BFM, this is supposed to be my happy place. You've got it exactly right. This is no blame culture. No, I am sorry. I'm sorry, Kootsie, it's not your fault. Other than Mr. Monday, he's not invited again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head off over into that other room. You can't see it because it's green screen. The rest of this office is draped in a green screen. You can, in fact, this is actually, you can, the whole, if, you, if I take away the green screen, you'd see the entire office. 
or everyone working away at their computers, but because because of modern green screen technology, you can't see them. All right, so everybody, relax. Take a few seconds to yourselves and re refresh your brews, and I will be back in about two minutes' time to review today's biscuit. So see you all in a second. Bye. It's Monday, everyone's favourite day of the week, and it's time for today's Biscuit Review! With me, Edward Lewis. Hello. I'm back, and guess what I've found? I, I think what, the, what it's called, every single time I come in here and I'm like, I'm slagging people off and I'm like, you know, who's nicked my biscuit mag? And it turns out, it's actually just the cleaners and they take it and they wash it. Crazy, right? Mmm. Yorkshire tea. The only tea for me. So, uh, how is everybody? All right, let's bring this up. Let's bring this up. I'm excited about this week's biscuit reviews because we are going to be hitting 50 reviews this week, I think. Have I just made that up? I might have just made that up. Let's find out and see where we're up to on here. Load up the biscuit review spreadsheet. 44. Yeah, if we do one every... Oh, no, we won't. We'll hit 50. We'll hit 50. 58. <laughs> no, 48, which isn't even a... It's a rubbish number, isn't it? 48, because that's actually the 43rd biscuit review. Anyway, of course, appearance, taste, texture, mouth, durability, dunkability, post dunk taste, satisfaction, moorishness, and then a, to a total at the end, and then we add it all up and see where we are. So, Hotel Chocolat. Let's talk Hotel Chocolat. I feel like I need to become like a more of a... Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, John Oliver type. And uh, do some real chat. Like, right, let's talk about this and say some funny things about it. Mm. I know, how dare they, right? Eddie's not an umpa lumper. Oh, David Saunders around with a cane top out playing a flute with some of his minions about that. Yes, uh, have, you, have, you, have you seen our office? Have you been here? Because that's very accurate. All right, let's talk about Hotel Chocolat. Hotel Chocolat, salted caramel hammy shortbread is at the very, very top. It's a very, very, very good biscuit indeed. And then we also do have, not that far away, also in the top five, in fact, in the top four, which is crazy, the Hotel Chocolat nub, nut, and nub, nut and nib shortbread, which was actually also a must dunk, surprisingly. So today, let's let us draw a line under the Hotel Chocolat with the final one in the packet, as you can see. This is the top of the tin. And again, as we know, there's no points for packaging. And inside, you can see that all the biscuits are now gone once we have reviewed this biscuit, which is the final one in the Hotel Chocolat. It is the standard milk chocolate 
homemade shortbread, okay? So it's very similar to the top one that we had, the Hotel Chocolat Salted Caramel Handmade Shortbread. Very, very similar, very, very similar. Uh, so what we need to do is up here, we're gonna get, we're gonna get started on this, we're gonna get started on this. The Hotel Chocolat uh, Milk Chocolate Short Handmade, ooh, oh, shortbread. So it's very similar to the one that actually is winning. Uh, salted, but that's salted caramel in there. So we're about to find out if uh, Vicky key hand you some random devs desk mess. Very oh, should, yeah. Uh, I like a shortbread too, but what I'm wondering is if this is made good by the salted caramel in there, or whether just milk chocolate is is you know good enough. So let's find out. Appearance. As we know, there's no points of packaging, but they do have their own individual little wrapped packages, which I think is them suggesting that it's a premium. You're like, well, we must keep things in our own packages, packages to make sure that this freshness is kept in. You know, you know what you're in for with this live stream. A tiny bit of xenophobia goes a long way. So I'm making a real mess of this. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. I'm not going to make the camera big because it's rubbish and little, so you can see it all pixelated. As you can see, it's quite the boring looking biscuit and also a lot of the um, chocolate has actually made its way off there because of melting, which is very annoying. It's slightly wasteful packaging giving it's already in a tin. I agree with you, Coots. I agree with you indeed. So, based on appearance, I don't really like it, but science tells me that I should, should put it at the same point as the other one. As it's nice, like it's it's big, it's chunky, but I don't love it. I'm not that I'm not blown away by it, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna have to go for a six point five again, which is actually fairly low. If you look, there's lots of sevens. All the way down here, you're looking at an eight for the Tesco milk chocolate malted milk, which actually is a crazy Well actually no, it's got that lovely illustration on it for the Tesco milk chocolate malted milk. Alright. So let's have ourselves a taste of the Hotel Chocolat milk chocolate handmade shortbread. If I can peel it from the desk because he's sticking to it with the melted chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the, how, how sort of camera won't focus, sorry. It's got a really nice, oh, that's good. That chocolate is fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very nice. Great shortbread. Soft. Got a nice crunch to it. The chocolate itself is not too sweet. They do a great job with it. They do a great job with it. But it's not... It's not my blow amount. It, it is missing that salted caramel. But the crunch is good. Right amount of chocolate on there, so it's not too much. But it is slipping around. Like we say, the fingers, the fingers have said it all. Um... I'm going to go for 7.7 .7 on mouthfeel because, no, no, I'm being unfair. I'm being unfair. Confirmed. Unfairness. Eight. Durability. Uh, right. What do you think, everybody? Should durability involve, like, the actual chocolate getting messy on my fingers? Because there's a very, very few crumbs. Very few crumbs indeed. Mm. So, I don't know, what do you think? Should I involve that in there? Because it is bothering me that I'm getting quite, like I have to finish it off quite quickly, rather than having to sort of save in my biscuit. And I like to save, yes, it is very respectable indeed in terms of texture. Um, being able to get a grip of it is, is difficult, yeah. Um, I mean, what did I score? 8.8 .8 for durability? Whoa! Wait, drinkability, here we go, here's the true test. Three seconds in, burning my hands. Oh, it's slipping already. One, two, three. Okay. It's literally slipping around in my fingers. Like one, two, three. But it is with stunning. Not as much, I have to say, not as much as the previous one. I remember the dunkability being very, very good on the last one. So let's try let's try this. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Bill Farrow. Welcome. This is what happens. All right, you ready? 
Mm. Wow. Nice. Not a must dunk. But nice and soft. Good. Good stuff. Oh. I think the chocolate, you could see that it was starting to bend during the drinkability. The post taste was very good, but I actually don't think it was as good as when it, I like, I like the, I like the, um, for the post dunk, I like the crunchiness of the original taste and the original texture. So I actually think the post dunk taste is reduced down, but not too much. It's like potentially a 7.5. It was good though. I, I feel you need a box of these biscuits, seriously. Seriously, all three of these have made it into the top five. Hotel Chocolat, it's obviously a premium biscuit, so that's why they've done so well, but they are fantastic. And they also have like these big chocolate brownie bits in there as well. Very, very good. All right, satisfaction. Um, come on, it's good, isn't it? I do love it. I absolutely love it. I want to eat the other one straight away. I've got two more here. And you know what we do with those two as well at the end of the stream. But I'm going for an 8.5 on there as well. Oh, 8.55. All right, let's see what the total adds up to. 62.9. Oh, it's just out of the top five. Just out of the top five. Let's, set, let's rearrange that list. Let's see where it sits. Um, 62.9. It's in the top 10. So, Edward Lewis recommends. I have to say, honestly, I am not in any way sponsored by anyone at all, obviously, because that would be ridiculous. But Hotel Chocolat, this tin of biscuits, if you're looking for a biscuit, a chocolate fan, oh, this tin. Very in your teeth like this as well, scridged, which is very helpful for transportation. Um, it's a good, lovely little premium product. Don't know how much it costs. Can't rate that. But there you go. You get myself. Uh, you don't need to highlight the whole table to sort it. Millstone Barn, thank you very much for your spreadsheet table tips, but I didn't ask for them, did I? Sorry, I just needed to have a sip of uh, Yorkshire tea. I'll calm down now. Thank you very much for your spreadsheet tips. Are you sure? No, because if I select, it makes me nervous. I feel like I need to select it because it makes me nervous. Uh, <laughs> what has Dante said? Oh, didn't know. Ditching McVitie's. Bitching about McVitie's. Haha! <laughs> uh, no more Hotel Chocolat. That was good. We've drawn a line under the Hotel Chocolat bundle and it did very well. So, everybody, Veld Pharaoh, thank you so much for joining us for the first time. Everybody else, thank you so much for keep coming back here every single day. We had a bit of a strange nightmare here today. There were crashes, there were Windows 10 problems, my fancy camera isn't working properly, so I hope we can get that fixed for tomorrow morning. We've got a proper live stream, we've got an official live stream. I say proper, this is the proper one. So here, we do these every single day, uh, as you all know, so do press the follow button if you haven't already. Uh, and you're all lovely and you're all so great. So I cannot wait. Again, we're gonna be talking about LaveCon plans throughout the week. So do let me know if you are coming to LaveCon. Please do tweet at me and let me know that you'll be coming as well. Because I wanna do one of these live, but I wanna get everybody in the audience biscuits. And we're all gonna do a big collective biscuit review together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Goodbye, beautiful people. Thank you very much, Coots, you're absolutely right. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow for a refreshed Go again. Let's let's basically let's say it how it is. We're going to try and do Monday again, and this time we're going to do it properly. So yep, yeah, see you tomorrow, uh, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ra! to decide who um, who I give the other the remaining two milk chocolate biscuits to. Um, so who should I give them to? If you could throw down in the chat who uh, in the Frontier Developments team I should give the other two remaining milk chocolate biscuits to. And 
then I can find out who, who it is and then we'll take it to it. So go, 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 go. Mm. I'll just sip this tea and chat with Henry while we're, while we're waiting. Henry, what did you think of the... Mark Allen says Andy FM. Support wing. Ooh, I mean, giving two biscuits to the entire support wing is going to be bad. Sandro is away at the moment currently in um, Vegas. So he won't be a... Take, give it to myself, says Mrs. Noodles. Thank you. Robin, says Danny2050. Uh, oh. mm. Robin says Andy FM. So Robin's a popular popular choice. Uh, Daylight TOC, Sandro and the Loach. Again, like I said, they're both away. Robin and Zach. Oh, that's nice. Save it for Zango and the Lotus to come back. All right. I mean, come on. We'll, we'll find some more for those guys. Any more choices? Any more options? Any more decision? First to eDev viewer. Robin Death. All right. Robin's got one then. If she's, I don't even know if she's in the office. We'll find out. All right. Robin and Zach it is. Thank you, guys. You are wonderful, and I'll see you tomorrow again. Bye! David Braven says grief. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> see you in a sec. Bye!